It's Sally Mungali where we eat and talk weight. I don't know what I'm doing. Just subscribe and let's conversate. Hey guys, so today I am going to do like tostadas, but my ring light went out, so bear with me. We have queso, we have some tomates, we have some lettuce over here. I already have my tostada with some beans. I'm gonna put carne. I'm gonna, I like my queso first. So let's put that on there. I like a little bit of lettuce, not a lot. And I love tomatoes. Mm -hmm. This is so delicious. Mm. I also the skin on the avocado. Mm. This is so good. Just got home from work. Work was okay. I need to learn how to start being a lot more grateful. Um, not that I'm not grateful, but have you ever had a situation where you're like, oh, I hate this or I hate that, but you know, sometimes we just have to be grateful for what we have. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna try to eat too. I'm gonna use these tostadas. They're like, I don't know, dry or something. I don't know. They're super bomb. They're like healthier because they're not fried. And I usually don't eat beans, but I have been lately. Hmm. Mmm, this is so good. Oh, I always, every time I record, I want to burp so bad. In the last video, I think I did burp, but it was so uncomfortable. Like, I felt like I did something wrong. Mm. Oh, I saw Flavor Eats, um... She kind of did the same thing with like the meat and she had tomatoes and cheese and lettuce and avocado and sour cream. We call it lazy tacos in my family. But um, my sugar plum wanted to make um, the tostadas, which is good with me. I got home from work and so tired. But I know a lot of it, I need to exercise. Mm. Lately, let me tell y'all what's been going on. I have been, like one night, I came home and didn't feel good. Everybody's making food and I wanted a baked potato. So I ate the baked potato and I put um, butter, sour cream, cheese, and that was it. Mixed it up, sat on my sofa, got on my phone, and just basically watched um, YouTube. And um, I don't know what happened. I ate the potato, and I literally, I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I got, I didn't pass out because I'm obviously, like, I'm aware of what's going on. But I got so sick in the sense of like, um, I felt like lightheaded. I felt like I almost had like an out of body experience. Um, like how you just feel floaty. And I just wanted to go to sleep. And I knew that I just, something was wrong. So I literally sat on the sofa and um, 
my honey was asking me questions and I was just so frustrated. Um, I like snapped at him because he was like, he asked me something and I'm like, I just, I just like, oh, like, you know, like when you feel frustrated and I put on some, you know how like when you put on yoga pants and you just change shirts, you know, and um i started laying on the sofa because i just felt like i just knew like i needed to sit up like i didn't because i have acid reflux so i thought well maybe um it has something to do with that i didn't know what was going on basically like i shouldn't have tried to self-diagnose myself because i am no doctor mm. anyway mm, it's so good the tomatoes are my favorite and um anyway so in the middle of the night i wake up i'm like swollen my hands are swollen my legs are swollen you know like when you have your yoga pants like you know like if it's it's cutting circulate it was cutting circulation to where like if i went like this you could just see the line like the crease where it was bad it was bad like I got scared and I took my yoga pants off because I didn't know what was going on like I couldn't my hands I couldn't bend my hands because they were like so swollen and I just I really like didn't do anything I just went back to bed like I just tried to lay down breathe like calmly then the following day I did a regular day at work I didn't feel too good I got home and same thing i was just like really exhausted when i got home and so mm. oh so oh my god i um ate i don't remember what i ate but i ate and I had already changed clothes out of work and I sat down and I think I, yeah, because I was like, again, my acid reflex, I was like, I knew I was going to get it and I took some medicine for it and then I woke up and had like hives, like kind of like you would with like an allergic reaction because like for whatever reason lately my skin is really sensitive. Um, I don't know if it's stress just because I'm working a lot or what it is, but um, I woke up and my lip, my top lip was swollen. Like, I was like this. Like, my lip looked like I had injections, basically, you know? So, um, I took some Benadryl and I laid down. And then I went to work. And when I went to work in the morning, my lip was still swollen. I didn't put any makeup on. My skin felt so irritated. And, um... I don't know like I don't know what's going on. I know I need to change everything you know like I need to work out more like yesterday was my daughter's birthday and it felt really good to get out of the house and I guess to break the monotony is like what my honey bunny says like to where it's the same thing over and over you go to work come home go to work come home go to work and then even though I'm like exhausted like I feel exhausted when I get home um, it's good to do something different Bring up morale, I guess. Mm. I feel like my tostada. But I made another one. Just in case. I'm going to put my cheese. And so one of the girls at work was telling me she had seen one of my other videos. Where I talked about where I wanted to work out. I want to do something. But sometimes we just need that extra push. So... She was telling me today, like, she was in the same red as me, and she wanted somebody to work out with, too. So, she may end up being somebody that I do that with. I'm going to see if my daughter will kind of do some with me, maybe. We'll see. It was so hard. Get up. Right? And get home. I just make excuses. That's all it is. Right? <laughs> I make excuses because why are you do? My I'm getting full. And my stupid ring light thing. 
went off because I guess I forgot to charge it. Hold on. I feel like I still should have had some kind of juice. Hmm. I'm already getting full. Hmm. My daughter turned 20 yesterday. My little baby. Mmm. It's so good. So. Mmm. Yeah. So, to turn 20. Mmm. My son turned 16. I don't know. I look like I'm 20, but. No lady. So, I have had a lot of stress lately, but I feel like these videos help me because I get to vent, I get to be myself. I like to be silly, I like to have fun. Hmm. Mm -mm. This is so good. You know what? I forgot something to drink. <laughs> Look at my daughter. I would share a little bottle of water right now. I was going to go out Yeah. Oh. oh, look at him. Thank you, Mama. Mm. I'm already tired of these nails too. I got them done. They're super cute. I love them, but I'm already like over it. And how long have I had them on? Two like two weeks. I don't. Has it been that long? Two I'm already over it. And they're on pretty good. Like they don't even look like I need fills yet. But I like one of those guys we heard in North Side. Oh, no, Bruda. Mm. My purified water. Oh my god. Water is water. No, that's not true. Don't you say that. That's not true. Nestle's water is the nastiest water I've ever tasted in my whole life. My whole life. Resort is okay. Dasani is really good. Aquafina is really good. Sam's water is okay. Winkle water, I'll deal with it. But like my honey bunny likes the water from <laughs> Family Dollar. Like he will, he will like go out of his way. Like we can go to the grocery store and he's like, no, we're not buying the water here. We're going to Family Dollar. But not all of them sell it. But I gotta admit, it is pretty good. A silver. <laughs> Silver Falls purified water. I don't know. This is you know how like when old people need glasses, they're like, that's me right now. So I need buckles. Anyway, so that's his favorite water, and it's still like no. I think they're cheaper. I think it's like two dollars. How much? Do you know how much it is? The water at the family dollar. I don't know. Mm. No, but this girl at work calls my honey bunny Lieutenant Dan because every time he shows up, she's like, Oh my god, I'm like, Damn, go talk to your man. Shit. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah, I'm so full. This is really good. This is a tostada, like this right here. Instead of frying the tortilla, the corn tortilla, it's just about I'm already done. 
And my husband made some rewrite beans, put some carne molida, unos tomates, queso, unos aguacates. It was, this is bomb. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. So cool. Okay, guys. I'm done. Oh. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining me. Um, I had my tostadas. It was super good. I had my aguita. Got to stay hydrated. You know what I'm saying. And um, see you tomorrow. Bye.